हेलो टीम वेलकम टू माई सेशन ऑन कॉफी विथ प्रब एंड टुडे वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम न्यू कॉफी शॉर्ट्स ऑन एस डी एल सी सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट लाइफ साइकिल दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर सी आई एस एस पी सी सी एस पी आई एस एस ए पी सी एस एस एल पी आई ऑलरेडी डेट सम वीडियोज इन पास्ट ऑन द सेम टॉपिक एंड आई गॉट अ ग्रेट रिस्पॉन्स ऑन दैट एंड दिस इज समथिंग एज अ न्यू क्वेश्चन आई एम बेसिकली लॉन्चिंग इन दिस वीडियो If you need to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. So let's start with the first part. Okay. So first question: In which phase of SDLC we identify key security roles and identify source of security requirement? such as relevant law regulation and standard see when you talking about in sdlc we have a first phase which is called as a initiation where we having a interaction with the stakeholder where we documenting the uh, the requirements we documenting their expectations so question was specifically talking about security roles and requirements and everything and once you done with the initiation phase the second phase is basically documenting but here the question specifically talking about identifying so option a development acquisition but development acquisition is very late security should be introduced as early as possible disposal if i go by d it is basically mean finishing stage operation maintenance where we launch the application so only option which is very closed here is initiation for your information these coffee uh, coffee shots are more based on the nist okay so according to nist initiation is a phase where we identify the requirement interacting with the stakeholders we agreed on the security trainings we understand the projects we understand the legal regulatory requirement associated with the project we do more like a due diligence in this particular phase lack of due diligence in this particular phase will impact the lot of productivity issues in the further stage and lot of risk also so actual due diligence will be done in this phase only let's move to the next coffee shot okay in which phase of sdlc we first question talking about sequence first determine it mean due diligence and analyze the privacy requirement we still in a phase of identifying analyzing not documenting so option a development acquisition actually development acquisition is basically stage where we after having an interaction we decide okay this application going to meet my privacy so let me onboard that vendor so a will be the late c will be the late d is basically withdrawal so only option is basically left is initiation phase that's why i'm going with the answer b okay let's move to the next coffee shot okay so in which phase of sdlc business requirement in terms of confidentiality integrity availability is reviewed again we are not documenting we are not introducing we just reviewing development acquisition will be the late operation maintenance will be late disposal is basically we withdrawal so only option which is closely left is initiation that's why the answer is initiation so in the initiation we request the documentations from the customer and in that we try to review the cia aspect of the application let's move to the next coffee shot okay so in which stage of sdlc ensuring all key stakeholders have common understanding including the security implications consideration requirements outlining initial thoughts on security key milestones including time frame or development triggers if you read the question carefully stakeholders are the interested parties which can be developers business owners and all that another keyword is implication what need to be include what need to be removed third keyword is milestones we set milestone as early as possible so if i go by d d is eliminate operation maintenance is the phase where we launch the application once the application launch it is move in the operation maintenance development is basically receive the requirement so milestone will be defined in the initial stage that's why the answer is b for beta initiation okay let's move to the next coffee shot thank you it's a very good question 
in which stage of SDLC we categorize the information system and assess the business and privacy impact of the requirement again we are not documenting we assessing the requirement so that is something so C and D removed we are left with A and B we after documenting and finalizing everything we launch the application or we launch the requirement to the developers and developer based on that they develop so A is also removed so only option is basically left as B for beta that's why I'm going with the answer B which is stand for initiation let's move to the next coffee shot okay in which stage of SDLC we plan security training for development team or developers option a development acquisition option b initiation option c operation maintenance and option d disposal d definitely removed uh, development will be uh, operation maintenance so there's no role because once the application is developed it is roll out to the production so c removed in development we need to train them but planning need to be done the initiation according to the project we need to prepare the course outline that's why the answer is basically b b for beta initiation because during the initiation we according to the requirement we train the developers on the projects we provide the secure code review sessions also to the developers and according to that we basically go for the further activity that's why the answer is b for beta let's move to the next coffee shot it looked like a yummy coffee. Which of the following methodology have a process for launching simplified version of a system or application is built and released for feedback and review and then launch the final version? It means we're talking about which methodology which launch the simplified version, collect the feedback and then launch the final version. If you go by a clean room, clean room is basically not work on this methodology. They have a very simple methodology is that launch the application with zero error. So it take more time. So it, the description is completely opposite of clean room. C, which is called spiral methodology. Spiral methodology is basically do the PDC in every phase. So C removed in waterfall. It's a rigid model. Once you're done with the phase one, you move to phase two. You cannot go back to phase one. So waterfall is completely opposite of the question. The only option which is very close is prototype in prototype model, which is a kind of a iterative model where we interacting with the customer on a regular basis they launch the beta version collect the feedback and then they launch the final version that's why i'm going with the answer b for beta this is all from my side team and if you wish to see a previous sdlc question do check my uh, video description where you can find the courts and sdlc questions make sure you should review those questions if you're preparing for the ic square in isaka certification and uh, do let me know your feedback in the comment section and uh, let me know what kind of a video you want to make on following IC square and Saka topics. Thank you for watching my video.